Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Hardcore, Solo Self Found, and Our Forsaken Priest. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video, and for joining me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. We are back in Duratar for a few quests. Uh, we're going to go after Winds in the Desert. This is then going to turn into at least one kill quest for the Harpies here in the northern part of Duratar. After we wrap up both of those, we'll head back down near Razor Hill. We have encroachment. We have to fight a bunch of Razor Mane at Quillbor. Uh, and there's also a quest somewhere out in that area where we have to go fight Crocolisks uh, for a rare drop item. So we'll do that one as well. That is the plan so far for today. There is no competition for these. I don't remember the last time I leveled and didn't have at least some competition. Uh, there are 19 people on. It's not a ton of people, but it is some. We just got really lucky and there's no one else working on this quest right now. So we just need one more. Um, I think we can go back on the other side of the road. It's kind of funny, playing without Questy makes me realize how much of the time I typically stare at the minimap, looking at quest markers and stuff like that. And when I don't play with Questy, like how much more time I dedicate to actually looking at the screen. You know, where the real game is taking place. Okay, that's five out of five. Let's go turn this one in and then it should become a kill quest. We have an unspent talent. I had a feeling. I will go four points in Spirit Tap. We should be seeing that proc like basically all the time now. It's at an 80% chance. So I could probably afford to spend a little bit more mana if we wanted to. But the wand is so powerful right now that it's almost not worth spending the time for like another cast. After opening up with uh, Mind Blast. Though if we don't if we don't get our butt in gear and work on enchanting, that might not always be the case. Because we're gonna need a, a wand upgrade soonish. Whenever we're actually fighting like level thirteen at level enemies, we're gonna want the better wand. We can get we can get a total of twenty eight more points if I were to enchant everything we could. If we made seven lesser magic wands, we enchant twenty one times. That would be 28. We have to get to 70 to be able to make the wand. 
And that's only going to get us to like 52 if we do everything right now. So we do need more mats. Um, no. And we, we probably need to just like to disenchant a few more things because we're still getting skill ups from the act of disenchanting. Be good. Uh, 12 Dustwind Savages, 8 Dustwind Storm Witches. Have a good one. And I think they're going to be in a slightly different area. Maybe we can come uh, over here to the east and cut into this opposite ravine. Let's go ahead and we'll actually track the quest. Now, believe it or not, the harpies are humanoids, so I'm kind of hoping that they'll drop some decent linen for us. It may not be totally necessary, but we'll go ahead and we'll try to have a good habit of putting on our food buff here. These guys are going to be level 10, so still should be pretty easy. But if we get overwhelmed, then every edge that we have will matter. Alright, so the Storm Witches are level 11, and they're going to be casting Lightning Bolts. So that's going to be something to consider.
I'm really hesitant to attack the ones that are flying up above. I feel like they are prone to evade bugging. And I really don't want to be stuck in combat with something that's casting at me and I can't hit. Kinda worried about when she runs. Oh, she's not gonna run. She got stuck in the middle of the cast. That works for me. We've been getting an okay amount of linen. I just don't know if it's enough to really warrant farming on these guys any more than necessary. Like, we could stay here and fight them for a while. If we wanted to, we have plenty of rested XP. But I just don't know how much they're actually dropping. The quill boar that we're going to go after will also have a good chance to drop linen. Maybe they'll drop more than the harpies.
Let's clear this one by the chest, and then we'll be done with this quest. Yes, that rhymed. Mm -hmm. It was not on purpose, and I am sorry. It would be so cool if we can dismantle stuff into linen, into scraps of leather, like take leather gear, dismantle it, scraps of leather, cloth gear, dismantle it. You got, maybe you got like strips of linen and then you have to go into your tailoring and then you, you can make linen from strips of linen. That could also add like an additional avenue to level up the profession. That would be so cool, I guess. Some, some kind of ability so that even when you loot a bunch of junk out of a chest, it would feel more rewarding because you'd think, well, hey, like I can't use any of that, but I can, uh, I can break it down and I can use the component parts. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, let's go this way. I think if we come out up here, we should be able to head west to the road. At least I'm hoping this lets out. We'll see. All right, this does not, this does not let out. So, oh, we are doubling back. Apparently, like, without Questy, I can't even navigate. <laughs> it's uh, very interesting.
How you doing? Keep it real. We probably won't really use it, but we can go ahead and equip the blemished wooden bow staff. And now we're going to head down to Razor Hill. Uh, we can do a little bit of tailoring. We can make nine bolts, so we should be able to make three more linen robes. If we're lucky, uh, we'll get three skill ups off of that, and we'll make some more strange dust. And then we'll, I think we're getting close. Like we have to get to 70 right now. We can get to like 52 if we do everything we can. So we need about 18 more skill ups, 18 more potential skill ups, uh, subtract whatever we get by disenchanting. And then we'll be at the greater magic wand. And, you know, if I really wanted to at this point, I, I could bring questing to a halt. We could pick an area, we could grind up a bunch of linen, and we could we could focus on just entirely single-mindedly getting the wand. You know, that would not be a bad idea to do. Uh, the wand's going to be really, really powerful. It's going to help us out immensely. But the way we're questing, like, we're tackling a lot of green enemies anyway. So I, I do feel like it's okay for us to kind of keep questing, as long as we're trying to make sure that we're fighting humanoids that have a chance to drop linen. Then I feel like it's okay to keep pegging away at quest while we work towards our goal of making the wand. Uh, let's hit up one of these vendors and sell everything. What do you need? I'm going to sell one of the stacks of healing potions. I don't think we need two low-level low stacks. Alright. And a couple of you guys told me that the cooking vendor over here that we actually talked to previously for the raptor egg quest should have the recipe that uses the scorpid stingers. And that apparently I just missed it, which, you know, isn't surprising to me and shouldn't be surprising to you. Uh, I think it was the butcher. What can I help you with? Yeah, right here. I just totally overlooked it. Uh, Scorpid surprise. Go Let's go ahead and learn that and victory. see what is involved. Oh yeah, it just straight up uses the uh, Scorpid stingers. No other ingredients. That's really awesome. Thank you guys for... Uh, Pointing out to me what I blatantly missed. I appreciate it. Heals you for 294 damage over 21 seconds, assuming you don't bite down on a poison sack. Nobody wants to bite down on a poison sack. Let me tell you that. We're going to vendor all of these. Just so we don't bite down on anything we don't want to. And honor. There we go. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll work on our tailor. We need to find the trade goods vendor over here.
And we will disenchant those. Hopefully we get a skill up for each of these. Yep, there we go. So for the three of those, we got we got two skill ups. It's not bad. It's not as good as it could have been, but it's not bad either. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a quick break right here, and then when I come back, we will go after the Razormane Quillbore. We're also going to go after a quest to fight Crocolisk along the river here. So yeah, that's the plan for next time. Thank you guys very much for being here. Truly do appreciate all the support. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.